Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu, welcome back to my channel. Uranus has been all the talk of the town lately, everyone seems to want to go there. So why now is there all this hype for us to go to Uranus? In this week's video, I'm going to convince you just why Uranus should be our next solar system destination. So let's start. The seventh planet from the sun, Uranus, is probably the least popular planet. We've never sent anything there to explore it. We've not even orbited it. We've never seen it up close. We've only observed it from afar when Voyager 2 flew past it in 1986. Although the same is true of Neptune, at least China plans to send a probe to Neptune in 2024. Uranus is an unusual planet with 13 distinct known rings, like the rings of Saturn, but Uranus's rings are very dark and faint. They're so dark that they can't be made of the pure water and ice that are making up the rings surrounding Saturn. But still, what exactly these rings are made of are still unknown. Despite 50% of the planets in our solar system, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune all being surrounded by rings, we still know very little about rings themselves. Like how did they form? Planetary rings also share many characteristics with circumstellar disks that surround stars and are the birthing place of planets. So by understanding ring systems, we can improve our understanding of planetary formation. Unlike the other planets in our solar system, Uranus spins on its side. This peculiarity is believed to be a result of a collision with a planet-sized object in the early solar system. But it's this feature that makes Uranus a particularly interesting planet to live on as it affects the planet's seasons. Uranus orbits the sun every 84 years. So due to this tilt, the sun will shine directly over each pole for a quarter of the Uranian year, plunging the other half of the planet into a 21 year dark winter. Just like the spin axis, Uranus also has a unique magnetosphere. In general, magnetic fields align with a planet's rotation. But Uranus's magnetic axis is tilted about 60 degrees from the planet's axis of rotation. Furthermore, the axis doesn't go through the center of the planet. It's significantly offset. Whilst this was originally believed to be due to a tilted spin axis, it was later discovered that Neptune's magnetosphere is similarly offset from its spin axis and has a tilt of 47 degrees. So nobody is sure why the planets' magnetic fields don't perfectly align with their spin axes. But in the case of Uranus, because the magnetosphere tail trails behind Uranus away from the sun, the magnetic field lines get twisted up by Uranus's sideways rotation and it forms this kind of corkscrew-like shape. Additionally, we know that aurora are caused by the solar wind interactions with the magnetosphere. So it's no surprise that the auroras on Uranus don't happen at its poles like they do here on Earth. When Voyager 2 flew by Neptune, it saw a giant dark spot, a cloud. What exactly lies beneath the planetary clouds? We know that Uranus is a ice giant. It doesn't have a true surface, but instead it's a ball of swirling hot dense fluids made of icy materials like water, methane and ammonia, all surrounding a small rocky core. The high temperatures and pressures would destroy any metal aircraft traveling through its atmosphere, so it's unlikely that any life exists there. The planet itself is just too extreme and volatile for organisms to survive. However, Uranus also has 27 known moons. Many of these are ocean worlds that could harbor life, perhaps right now or even in the past, below its surface. 
despite icy planets like this one being prevalent throughout our universe, our current theories, planetary formation models, struggle to form them. Investigating the composition and structure of ice giants like Uranus will tell us how they formed and evolved, as well as providing us with information about the range of possible characteristics of exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.